Hello viewers. Today we're going to discuss about validation. So why do we need validation? Validations are nothing but the checking the errors. If there is any logical error or any database errors, we can check it through validation before the data is submitted to the database. You know, if there is a constraint in a database and data is missing the constraint rule, then um, obviously database will provide a error message to your system. But, you know, for an uh, end user to understand that it is uh, not possible for them. So, it's the uh, task of a developer to uh, create a validation uh, which is uh, humanly understandable by the end user so that they can understand what really happened. So, your uh, job as a uh, developer is to uh, define validations based on your, based on your uh, business rules, database constraint, etc. So, today we are going to discuss about the validation. Let us begin with our validation. In the same uh, department page, let us create validation in the class. item next it is on department id next inline next you see here at the selection what you are going to do you see uh, not null. It will uh, the not null will uh, provide you that uh, department name must be there must be some value in department name. Okay, so we're gonna do it. Do that one now. The so not null. Okay, next. Must have some value. Next, uh, when will this one work? It will work when, only when create, create and save button is clicked. Okay, now run it. Now if I click on create, see what happens. Department name must have some value, department name must have some value. One was uh, defined because it, uh, it is a uh, mandatory field, because this is one is mandatory field, uh, one value, one uh, uh, was defined automatically when I created the uh, form. Now we're going to change the message a little bit differently so that we can understand what is our uh, designed, it is our designated message here. And now you see validation is this one, error message is, uh, we're going to change it like this. Department name cannot be empty. Okay, apply change. Now run it. Create. You see, this is the this is our de defined validation, and and the validation above it it was by default because it is uh, signaled as required field that's why it is automatically given here now let's make it a little bit change here department name see here you will see that uh, value required yes if I do it no then the question comes, uh, why is it no? You see, 
now if I run the page and now create it you see this is the validation we are having validation message error message we are having you see this is the message now uh, there is one, another thing we have to do is now we want to create another validation to check whether the department name name is in capital letter or in small letters okay we're gonna do it in different way page item okay next uh, on the same item next in line okay next this one will be we're going to do this in tlsql okay next see what kind of a uh, tlsql it will be it will be tlsql function returning error text it is, this is the um, type which uh, my favorite i always use in maximum in most of the times i use uh, this type of validation so it, it is very very flexible and for a de developer uh, you will also find it very useful and uh, and I, I think you'll love it next Now here's the code. Declare B error. V E R R. Varka two. Two hundred. B K. H. B. Upper. Value value two two hundred V V value value two two hundred okay. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna check if now we'll see what happens here. V V value equal to P three department name. Now if value sorry value is null then return return department name cannot be empty okay else Now, if V V upper value upper value to upper This one is for just for uh, checking. This kind of validation actually doesn't happen uh, since I have uh, a discussed about uh, the department name. So we're gonna do this now. 
if i check it if v value equal to v upper value then return null else 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 return return now next okay now the same condition will apply here when it will be applicable when only create and save button is pressed this validation will be applicable now what we are going to do we are going to make this the earlier uh validation to never okay so that is the earlier validation will not work anymore so now run it now if i click on create oh there is a problem okay no problem here there is an error the code oh sorry then end in the center of you it should be okay right now now just click on create see department name cannot be empty okay now if i give something test like test okay next create see department name must be upper case see department name must be upper case so our validation is complete here this is a simple demonstration yet it is very important uh, this is the end of the video end of the demonstration thank you for watching thank you everybody